Hi guys, Joe here. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done one of these. I um, can't think how long it is it. Actually, how long has it been? It's the last time I did one of these. Let's have a look. I am sorry about how long it's taken me to do updates and stuff like that. I have been, uh, I've had cancer. So <laughs> I've kind of been taking my time, I guess. Um, so the last one I did was when I had my hair cut after having long hair and that, don't do it Clive, don't do it, was um, quite a while ago. Hmm, there it is. Cheers buddy. It's alright, it won't take me that long. A year ago. <laughs> so a year ago. Um, but basically what's prompted me to do this now is because I have just come back from the hospital uh, after having a, an appointment with my oncologist. And for one of the first times ever, I have some good news. And the treatment is working, which is fantastic. So the, what they do is they work it out on a blood marker and they track it so they know how much cancer you've got left in your body. And they take initial readings when you first start and then when you finish and uh, well, after each treatment. But before each treatment, they do a blood marker test and all this kind of stuff. And I've finally been told how much is left. And my marker started off as 383. I don't know what marker it is and I don't know how that really works or translate into real numbers, but it is now down to 53. So that sounds like a huge reduction. Uh, you know, it's, it's a, oh my, well, a seventh of what it was, which sounds good to me. I don't really know what that means in the grand scheme of things. I did ask how it works on a percentage. Can you plot it on a graph? Apparently you can't. It doesn't really work that way. I asked if it was exponential. So I could go have that straight line thing, but no, that doesn't know how it works. So the treatments will continue. Uh, a bit of an update. I have had two treatments in between my last, um, last uh, kind of vlog video update thing that I did, I guess. And it's going okay. It's been tough, I won't lie. Um, I've been struggling with the mental side of things. Um, I do have depression because of the cancer and probably the stress related to it. Um, but I'm learning to deal with it on my own. I was an antidepressant, so I've come off of them. And that's very much my choice. Uh, the doctor said, you know, oh, when you feel ready to come off of them, come off of them. Um, but that was after they'd already taken me off of them and then they put me back on them. And then I chose just to come off of them all, all together and I've made a decision. And the decision is, is that I handle this on my own. The reason being, I don't want to have to rely on tablets for me to get up every single morning and get on with life. I want my passion for life and my drive for life to do that for me. And that can be as simple as the waking up and, I don't know, shooting some sp spaceships on my computer, or going into work and having some social interaction with you know people I know and have seen me go through everything, because I need something else. Uh, I've started going back to the gym as well. I managed three gym sessions last week. This week I'm on a on a zero, uh, and that's because I've been having some other stuff going on. Because um, around the cancer, there's normal illness as well, so normal being sick, which is an unusual one because, you know, you kind of feel like you can't be sick because you've got cancer, which is totally bizarre. Uh, but yeah, that's a thing, and that's how I kind of feel a lot of the time. But I have had some fantastic support from family and friends throughout the whole thing. Um, I've had people offer offer you know to help me out with transport to and from hospital appointments and um, my dad's been a hero he has um, been with me for every single appointment um, we sat outside <laughs> because he's driven me there so he hasn't really had much of a choice um, but he's been really really good with stuff like that and um, obviously my wife Kim has been a legend um, mainly by not showing how bothered she is by the whole thing which I which you can't undervalue and obviously if she watches this then that's on her and um, I've noticed. Thank you. It's appreciated. One thing that I really miss is, that, um, is exercise and the drive for the exercise. And yeah, I went to the gym three times last week. Unfortunately, this week I've not been feeling myself, I've not been feeling particularly great, which is a shame. But I do want to get back into it and keep working out. I've put on 10 kilos over the last year and a half, year and a half since diagnosis. And that is mainly through stress eating, number one. Number two, I don't have a thyroid anymore, so my metabolism isn't my own, and I do rely on uh, taking thyroxine, and I'm at 225 micrograms a day, which is actually quite a lot. And uh, again, also weight gain can be caused by antidepressants, which I'm no longer on, so it messes with water retention and appetite as well. I mean, I've been stress eating like an absolute animal, and it has to stop, and it kind of has stopped this last week or so. Uh, myself and Kim have decided that it's time to eat healthily again, and we've been eating lots of fresh vegetables and um, keeping very, very kind of lean on what we've been having with regards to food. Um, and yeah, it, it'll take some time, some getting used to, and we do have a holiday due as well, which is something to really look forward to. Uh, so that's that's good. 
as a treatment and what's coming forward I've gone, I'm going to have another treatment around kind of end of May, beginning of June. Uh, I say, well, holidays in May, my birthday's in June, and so is Kim's. So we've asked them to avoid that kind of section, but they will do what they can depending on what's available. If not, they'll do it after our birthdays. And I would really rather it was done beforehand because then I feel like I've taken another step forward to recovery and getting over it, being done with it, um, having cancer out of my life, which. Um, Interesting conversations to be had about that going forward because they may hit a point where the radioactive iodine just stops working. Uh, but after my next treatment, I'm going to be having a full body scan, so CT scan head to toe, and that will be telling me what's left and tell the oncologist what's left. And well, yeah, but I guess the most important thing is we're winning. That's the important thing. Uh, one step forward, and I needed that today. I really did need that. So, good news. Good news all round, really. Um, as for everything else and everything else in my life, what's going on, um, the mental health kind of stuff, I am going to thresh it out through exercise. That's my plan. And doing things I enjoy, seeing friends, seeing family. Um, so if you're friend and family and you want to meet up sometime soon, um, let me know. Sundays, Sundays and Thursdays, I'll make time for anyone. Um, the rest of the time, I'm unfortunately still working. So, um, And that is the thing. I've been working through the whole thing, and I know that not everyone does that. I would go insane if I didn't. And the same way I've got my gaming YouTube channel that I've been working on, and that is very much my creative outlet that I've been using. And also, with it being a creative outlet, I get social interaction, it's so needed. Because some days you don't feel like getting up or leaving the house, and you know you can put some headphones on and just talk to people who just want to play some games. And there's no pressure, there's, no, there's none of that them looking at you, and actually, you know what? I put this on myself. I think people look at me and see the cancer bet they don't, <laughs> but I put that on it, or they know they feel sorry, I look tired, I look worn out, and they think that that's, that's because of the cancer. No, I just didn't sleep last night because my cat's an asshole. You know, it's very, that's normally what it is, so. But yeah, I'm gonna call time for this kind of vlog thing, update for everyone here. Uh, it's a miserable rainy day outside, it's a great day to play some computer games, and I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna chill out and relax, and um, I'll keep everyone updated as time goes, I guess. So as usual, I'm going to say if you're interested in this type of thing and you'd like to know how I'm doing or you're suffering in a similar condition, then please do make sure you like and subscribe, raise some awareness. I will be doing a 24-hour charity live stream for raising funds for the British Thyroid Foundation and that's going to be coming in May during my next treatment. So when I'm off and I'm ready back to and I can't do anything, you know what, I can sit down and I can play some games and I can raise some money for charity and do a good thing. So that's coming soon. I'll do, do probably do an update on that and talk about it. But... There you go. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, YouTube personality stuff. And I'm not going to salute as I sign off because everyone does that. And also Commander Plater does that, my YouTube gaming channel. So, I'll catch you guys later.